Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are going to take a look into Libra's week ahead for June 15th, 16th through the 21st for this week, okay? In this message, we are going to first tap into the energies with the Psychic Tarot deck here. This is the Psychic Tarot deck. Then we are going to do an overview message with the Fairy Tarot deck, and we'll dig a little bit deeper with the traditional deck. It, I'll also clarify as well as pull a few oracle cards. If it's something you guys are interested in, you are more than welcome in joining. So let's jump right in, Libra. See what we can see for you guys for the week of June 15th through the 21st. Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages here on YouTube are general. They are not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message. For more information on how to book a personal reading, energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing we do here every month, it's all linked below. And Libra, if you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you are more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone's welcome here and it does help set your intentions for future messages. It's looking like there's going to be a conversation here with the throat chakra. This card symbolizes communication. I feel like there's a situation, some information that's going to come to light about a person that you may have had your heart set on. And this is going to cause you, this could be an actual physical conversation. This could be messages through spirit subconsciously. Um, but I feel like it's going to, this information, this new information that's going to come to light is going to put you in a different pers position with this person, maybe change your perspective on the way that you are seeing this situation. Okay, I also feel like it's going to start an internal transformation here. With the 13 transformation, this is the death card. So let's take a look here at Libra and see what we can see here for you guys for this week, June 15th through the 21st. What does Libra need to see here, Spirit, for June 15th through the 21st? Please and thank you. It's your card, Justice. This card talks about balance could also symbolize legal matter legal matters turning in your favor there's definitely a situation that you've been conflicted about here and there's a need to kind of take a step back release and focus on your goals focus on yourself focus on the things that you can control I feel like there's a little bit of resistance to release this so Let's take a look here, Libra. We are going to use the traditional Rider weight for you. Most important message here, Spirit, for Libra. What does Libra need to see for June 15th through the 21st? Please and thank you. All right, Libra, we're going to place the cards and I will call them out and then we will talk about them. Temperance in reverse with the Five of Swords. Ace of Swords with the Hermit. Three of Wands with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like you are releasing this, Libra. Okay, slowly but surely you are taking your power back and focusing on yourself. 
there's going to be some information that is revealed. Now, this could be an actual message because we have the page of pentacles. We're going to clarify all of this right now. This could also be some physical, like subliminal messages from the angels, from your ancestors, from guides that are trying to direct you on a certain path. There's been a lot of imbalance, a lot of conflict within this dynamic in the past. And this is all leading you to kind of move forward from the situation. Now, for each of you, it's going to be different. The lesson that you're needing to learn here. Okay. But I do feel like one of the biggest lessons I can see is putting yourself first right? Not ignoring those warning signs. Trusting the process, trusting, also trusting your intuition, right? Even if there's this thing that I always say in a lot of my readings, even if a person is a soulmate, that doesn't necessarily mean that you guys are both ready for that connection yet. You guys are going to have to go through a process together and apart before you can come together you're not going to know until years down the road if that it ends up being a life partner or not so just going with the flow and moving through the energies as you see fit is definitely going to be you know in your best interest maybe right now it's time for you guys to take some time apart I don't see any soulmate cards in the reading, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not a soulmate connection. I do feel like there is a need here to kind of take your power back though. Focus on yourself, take your independence back, focus on your goals, your career, your finances, becoming a better person, working on yourself, those types of things. For instance, for me, I have certain goals within business. I have certain goals for my kids as well. But I also have personal goals because there's things that I feel like growth is a process. It's an ongoing process. You can always get better. You can always learn new things. So every two to three months, I pick a different topic that I want to work on for that two to three month period. These past month here going on to this next month, I'm working on my communication skills. I want to get better at communication. I want to what broaden my broaden my horizons with my vocabulary. So I'm doing research on how to communicate, um, also how to become more emotionally intelligent. So put putting words to my feelings. That's for me personally. I feel like self development is an ongoing process. You can always become a better person. You can always do better. And to me, the Nine of Pentacles or the Queen of Pentacles or the Empress, all three of those cards symbolize that type of energy, you know, focusing on your self-care, self-discovery journey, that growth process and becoming a better person, you know, focusing on yourself, having a routine like that where, you know, the healing process is an ongoing thing. I do feel like slowly but surely you are moving away from this person and focusing on yourself. Now I'm not saying that this, you guys very well could come back together in the future. Energy that I'm picking up here, Libra, is there's been an imbalance and in order to restore the balance within this connection, somebody's going to have to walk away. So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice. I'm going to do an extended version to this reading, guys. Sorry about that. In the extended version, we'll take a look into what are the next steps here moving forward, where this is headed. Okay. Um, what is this person's intentions moving forward? Where are they headed? We'll also take a look at the potential outcome if, outcome if the guidance is followed. I'll also pull out the Archangel cards, the Soul Truth. That's something you guys are interested in. You are more than welcome in joining us. The link is below in the description box. Also guys, sorry for bumping. I actually have a the camera on a tripod over my 
altar and the altar is where I do my readings, where I do all my personal readings, where I do all my personal clients readings as well as my YouTube videos. Um, so I'm sorry if I bump the camera every once in a while. It's kind of like right here and I just positioned the tripod over my altar. So anyways, <clears throat> the advice coming out for you Libra is the hanged man, the devil, and the seven of cups in reverse. So I feel like there is clearing the confusion but you're going to have to change your perspective on this connection. Okay. I feel like, um, you may be looking at this like, Oh, it's a soulmate connection. So this is my person. I'm going to sacrifice and, and wait and all this other stuff. And that's not, that's not how those connections work. That's not how that works. The perception really should be this person is on my path to help me grow. This person is on my path to help me heal. So while this person is here on my path, what can I learn from them? get a soul journey card out for you Libra if you find this message is helpful that it's resonating with your situation give it a thumbs up all the love and support is very much appreciated and does help with the growth of the channel thank you guys so much for that denial I acknowledge my fear but I replace it with the insight of awareness. It is time to open up and be completely honest with yourself. At this present moment, buried fears and resentments do not die. They merely fester and cause dis-ease. Only by bringing them to the light of day and love, with love and compassion, will you banish them from your life. It may bring you pain and heartache to reflect upon these situations again, but you are only giving them power by suppressing them. The dangerous seeds of denial will grow and spread and manifest unless you uproot them, examine them, and release them. This is the only way to become whole and healthy. Learn not to bury painful emotions in the first place. Deal with them as they come and take all the time you need to neutralize them without hiding them. Your soul wants to live honestly and authentically in the now. Don't hinder it by placing emotional landmines on its path. I feel like that's calling to this perspective that you have on this connection. Not, a, not even that you're denying or accepting. It's more about the way you perceive the situation. I feel like everything is coming together for you. And that may very well be what the awareness that you will have. That could very well be the message that you're about to receive. However, try to really dig deep and look at this belief system or this pattern that you have, perspective that you have on this connection, and ask yourself why. Why do you feel that way? It is safe to look within. As I move through the layers of other people's opinions and beliefs, I see within myself a magnificent being, wise and beautiful. I love what I see in me. It is safe to look within beautiful, beautiful Libra. So Libra, that is the message I have coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the link is below in the description box. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.